Today's little farm story is another visit with Celine and her triplet lambs. They're so cute at this age, I really wanted to share them with you. Hello and welcome to Little Farm Stories. It's May 1st at Under the Feather Farm and I'm Lisa Maratta. If you're enjoying Little Farm Stories, click that subscribe button to find out when the next video comes out and it also makes my day. Happy May Day! Wow, May already. April just whipped by. I think in part because it has been so cold and wet, it just seemed like an extension of winter. It has been a little warmer during the day. Today was a high of 12.8 Celsius, 55 Fahrenheit, which isn't very warm, but the nights have been warmer too. No more frost, so the new growth on the potatoes is safe. Pansies are so cheerful, the perfect flower to welcome the new month. The triplets are doing really well. I put them in the small pen for the night, but during the day they have the whole big stall because the other sheep are outside. I tried to take a picture to show how tiny the little ewe lamb is. This doesn't really do it. I'm amazed every time I go out there and they are all so small, but she's exceptionally tiny. There is a bit of a traffic jam when they all decide to eat. With only two teats and three hungry mouths, there's a lot of jockeying for position. At least Celine is very patient and just stands there for them all to have a turn. As the lambs get older, the ewes don't stand for as long, so I'll watch to make sure they are all thriving and growing and supplement with a bottle if necessary. I love seeing them like this curled up together. Like all babies, they sleep a lot but when they're up, they are curious about everything around them. I was shoveling out the old straw and had a lot of help from them. It only took me twice as long. They are also bouncing around on all four legs, which is so very cute. I'm happy they are all doing so well. It's a great start to this last lambing group. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the lambs again. Come back tomorrow to hear about Beltane, the ancient Celtic festival to start summer.